In this video, I'm going to show you how you can swap, earn, lend, borrow and leverage with the decentralised all-in-one platform SushiSwap. For more information on SushiSwap, please check out everybethelps.co.uk. And I'll pop a timeline in the summary below for those of you that just want to jump into the walkthrough. But first up, a little bit about SushiSwap. SushiSwap was launched in 2020 and it was founded by the entity that was known as Chef Nomi, who controversially made a sudden departure in September of the same year, taking $14 million in Ether with him. And he subsequently handed back the 38,000 ETH and he transferred the ownership of SushiSwap to FTX CEO Sam Bankman Fried. SushiSwap is actually a fork of Uniswap, one of the most popular decentralized exchanges or DEXs, and therefore it's got a very similar look and feel to the platform. However, SushiSwap is always evolving, with over 20 supported wallets. It supports 14 different chains, including the likes of Ethereum, the Binance Smart Chain and Polygon. Plus, there are now more than over 150,000 holders of their own Sushi token, which is a multi-chain token available on Ethereum, the Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Solana, Avalanche, XDAI and Phantom. Their token can not only be traded for on their own platform, but other decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap and PancakeSwap, and centralized exchanges like Binance, Crypto.com and FTX. And I've got tutorials, reviews and sign up links available for all of those platforms if you want to find out more or sign up. But let's head across to SushiSwap now to see how to swap, earn, lend and borrow. And you'll want to head across to their site, which is Sushi.com. Then click on to enter app. Now, because SushiSwap is decentralized and non-custodial, there's no KYC or sign up process to go through. Simply connect up a supported wallet to start using the app. I'll be using my MetaMask wallet today, which I have installed as a browser extension. But you can also connect using Wallet Connect for those of you using Binance's Trust Wallet. Plus, you can connect up to the Coinbase wallet or Formatic wallet. When I connect up my wallet, it automatically detects which network the wallet is connected to. And as you can see from the SushiSwap site here, it's picked up that my MetaMask wallet is currently connected to the Binance Smart Chain. Which as you can see from my MetaMask wallet, it is. And as I said at the very beginning, SushiSwap can connect to a whole host of different chains or networks. And these include the likes of Ethereum, Polygon, and obviously the Binance Smart Chain, which could potentially help you save some money on fees. At the time of this recording, Ethereum fees are pretty high, whereas Binance Smart Chain are currently low. Therefore, that's the network that I'm going to be connecting to today to demonstrate how to swap. But when you're selecting your network, you may be limited to the options available from the menu at the top, but I'm going to come back to that in a moment. If you are using the likes of the MetaMask wallet and you want some help connecting it to the Binance Smart Chain or Polygon, then I've got separate tutorials and blogs explaining how to do that. Just be aware that you will need some BNB in your wallet to pay for any transaction fees when you're interacting with the Binance Smart Chain, or you'll need to pay ETH with the Ethereum network or MATIC tokens for Polygon, for example. So now that my wallet is connected, you'll see my wallet address appearing at the top of the screen and that matches with my MetaMask address. When I click onto it, this is where I can change my address or I can view any recent transactions. Plus it also shows me my wallet balance here. Now let's just take a look at swapping first. And this is where you can simply swap from one cryptocurrency to another on the same chain. If I click onto the drop down besides BNB, this is where I can select my token. And it will show you some of the most commonly paired tokens at the top here. Then the tokens where you've got a balance first. Then all the available tokens. And you can also manage these lists of tokens and only pull through tokens from sources that you trust, such as the likes of the Gemini Exchange token list or Yearn, etc. And this will really help you to avoid trading with any scam tokens. So I'm going to be swapping from the Cake token today. Then you can select what you'd like to swap to, which in my case will be to Sushi. And I can either enter in the amount that I'd like to swap from or I can click on to max to swap it all. As with many DeFi platforms, you may first need to approve the transaction before you can go ahead and perform the actual swap. 
So I'm going to go ahead and approve this now, where I'm going to need to confirm that in my MetaMask wallet, and that's going to cost me around 11 cents. Now, for those of you who connect your Ledger hardware device to MetaMask, if you find you're getting an internal JSON error, or if it's not prompting you to approve on your device, there is currently a workaround using a Ledger bridge. And I've got a blog post with a step-by-step -step guide available on my website, everybithelps.co.uk. But once that's approved, I can then go ahead and swap, where it shows me a confirmation of my swap, letting me know the rate, the route that the swap will take, the fee that I'm going to be paying, and then I can go ahead and confirm my swap. Where I'll need to confirm in MetaMask again and pay another transaction cost, which works out to be just over 33 cents. Then once the transaction has gone through, your tokens should then appear in your MetaMask wallet. Now, if for any reason the token isn't appearing, you may need to add the token into your wallet. A really easy way to do this, if it's the SushiSwap token, is by clicking onto this button here on SushiSwap. And your balance will then appear. Alternatively, if you're looking at other different types of tokens that aren't appearing in your MetaMask wallet, you can go ahead across to the likes of CoinMarketCap. You can search for the token name, then click onto the MetaMask icon here to add the token to your wallet. So that's how you can swap from one cryptocurrency to another. If we click onto Limit, you'll see that some chains, namely Polygon, allow you to create limit orders. If I just switch to that network now to show you, you'll actually see that at the time of this recording, new limit orders are currently disabled, but existing orders are unaffected and can be edited or cancelled. But this would essentially allow you to define your own rates if it was enabled. So I'll go back and change the network now back to the Binance Smart Chain or BSC. Then click onto the homepage link to return. Next, we're going to take a look at liquidity. And this is where you can start to earn from adding liquidity to the platform. So with SushiSwap, you can currently earn 0.25% of all trades on the pair that you add. And you can claim these rewards when you go to withdraw later. To actually be a liquidity provider, you need to supply equal amounts of two different tokens. And in return, you then receive SushiSwap liquidity provider or SLP tokens and they represent your share of the pooled liquidity for that token pair. And this is very similar to the Uniswap Liquidity Provider or LP tokens that you may already be familiar with. And these SLP tokens can be farmed to earn rewards, which we're going to come back to in a moment. Now, one thing to be aware of here is that even though you supply equal parts of two tokens to the pool, the quantities that you receive when you reclaim your liquidity later may change. For example, if the price of one token goes up and the other token goes down, you may have less of one and more of the other, and vice versa. And to provide liquidity, again, you may need to approve the transaction first and then confirm and pay your gas fees. Your liquidity positions can then be found under the pull tab at the top of the screen once you've supplied your liquidity. When it comes to yield farming or staking your SLP tokens, we'll actually need to swap across to another network as the farm menu option is not visible from under the Binance Smart Chain. So I'm going to change across to the network now, which is Ethereum. Then I'm going to head across to the farm tab. So currently, as I said, this option isn't available from within the Binance Smart Chain, so you can't provide liquidity and then stake your SLP tokens there. However, there are varying amounts of annual interest and sushi per day that you can earn on networks such as Ethereum, and these amounts will vary depending on the pair, the farm and the risks. As you can see, the APYs vary a lot between 0 and 235%, which is all depending on your risk. For example, the Zig wrapped ETH farm returns you with 235%, and this is because the total value locked or TVL here is low. So you will need to make sure that you check these and perform some risk management before going for the one with the highest APYs. And with some farms, you can even earn double the rewards too in 2x reward farms. In fact, if I switch over to Polygon now, you'll see that you'll earn both Sushi and Matic in all of the available farms. So once you've added liquidity to a pool, you can simply stake these tokens and earn an APY, which you can also unstake from here. 
Now, I'm not actually going to do this today. As I said, the Ethereum gas fees are pretty high. And actually, when I take into account the fact that I need to pay fees to stake and unstake, this would make it unprofitable for me. But another way that you can perform staking with SushiSwap is by simply staking your Sushi tokens for XSushi. For every swap on the exchange on every chain, 0.05% of the swap fees are distributed as Sushi, proportional to your share of the Sushi bar. When your Sushi is staked into the Sushi bar, you receive XSushi in return for voting rights and as a token that you can interact with other protocols. Your XSushi is continuously compounding and when you unstake, you'll receive all the originally deposited sushi and any additional from fees. And as you can see, I'm currently staking my sushi with current APR rates of 5.93%. And my balance of X sushi is here on the right hand side of the screen. If I click onto my sushi bar stats, as you can see here, I've deposited 806 sushi and my yearly return on investment is over $1,200, which works out to be $102 monthly and $3 daily. If you want to state your sushi tokens, you can simply enter in the amount into here or click onto the max field and you'll then need to pay your gas fees at this point. And you can unstate these tokens from here too in case you need them for anything. They also have lending and borrowing here where you can lend your tokens with no risk of impermanent loss by using isolated lending markets. In other words, if you've got assets that you want to earn additional interest on, you can lend them and earn interest from the borrowers. So you can currently lend USDCs, for example, at a rate of 9.93% without having to enter into the pool first or stake any SLP tokens. Plus, you can also borrow from SushiSwap too, so that you can borrow crypto without having to sell your assets first. And you'll be able to borrow up to 75% of your collateral, which you can repay at any time with accrued interest. For example, you can borrow DAI by putting down X Sushi as collateral and the APY is at 0.35%. It'll show you how much has already been borrowed here as well as how much is currently available. Plus, as it states here, by borrowing assets, you can also use leverage, which will enable you to take short positions against assets and earn from the downside movements. Then finally, there's an option for MISO which is abbreviated for Minimal Initial Sushi Swap Offering, which is their token launchpad platform and currently includes Trident NFT. But that completes how you can swap, stake and earn with Sushi Swap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.